going to start off with an Illuminati card. This card is the Rosicrucians. And the caption reads, the true Rosicrucians do not advertise, and their powers are recondite indeed. Uh, recondite means that their powers are restored, and they do not advertise, although they do show you. If I were to go into a room and ask 100 people a question, most of the time, all 100 people would answer this question wrong. What does the cross mean? Here is the arrow of Sagittarius. Notice the arrow of Sagittarius looks very much like that church cross. Why? Because that's what it is. The arrow of Sagittarius is what the cross is. This scripture here, the scripture, Exodus 24, King James Version of the Bible reads, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above. Well, the zodiac, Sagittarius is a zodiac symbol. You see the different uh, pictures of the zodiac. Well, what is the zodiac? Here's Job 3832, King James Version of the Bible. This is how to decode the Bible. And it works for the Quran the same exact way. First, I'll start off the King James Version, Job 38, 32. Canest thou bring forth Mazareth in a season? Or canest thou bring, or canest thou guide our tourist with his sons? Okay, that doesn't make much sense to anybody. I'm going to take Job 38, 32 in the Voice Bible. This is the same scripture. You can lead the stars of the zodiac out in their proper seasons and guide the bear with her cubs. Well, if you look up Zodiac on Wikipedia, you'll see that another name for the Zodiac is Maseroth. And if you know about Arcturus, the constellation, that is called the bear. So the Bible gives you these answers in these ways. Now I'm going to take the same scripture, Job 38, 32, into the Wycliffe Bible. And I'm going to read the beginning of it, whether whether thou bringest forth Lucifer. Now back to the King James, canest thou bring forth Mazareth? Zodiac, another name for the Zodiac is Lucifer. And what is Lucifer? What is the Zodiac? The Zodiac is the planets, is the stars in the sky. And you see that they have names. Mercury is Hermes, Aphrodite is uh, Venus, actually Hermes goes by another name in the morning. He's called Apollo. In the evening, he's called Hermes. Aphrodite and Venus are two lesbian lovers. And uh, there's planet Earth, uh, uh, Gaia. And then you also have um, Zeus being uh, Jupiter. And you have Cronus being Saturn. And if you know Cronus being Saturn... Saturn in the occult is viewed as Satan. So Satan is also Saturn. Cronus is another name for Satan. The coronavirus. And next here, um, there's the, the planets. And if you have any questions in regards to these, please do ask, you know, what they are. What exactly are Artemis is another name for Satan. Diana is another name for the goddess Isis. Go through a little bit deeper in Greek mythology, Council of Nine. Okay, you see they have the same exact name. Zeus assembled them. First, I'm going to start off with Prometheus. Prometheus is another name for Jesus. And um, Zeus assembled these to punish mankind. Uh, Prometheus helped out mankind, so Zeus punished him. And here's the Council of Nine. They're Aphrodite, Apollo, Athena, Demeter, Hepatius, Hera. Hermes, Poisonon, and Zeus. Notice in the uh, Church of Satan, council they're called the Council of Nine because that's what they are. They're the Council of Nine in the Church of Satan. And they're also the Council of Nine in the Church of Jesus Christ, as I'm about to show you. Council of Nine go by another name. They're the original 12 Olympians. You see there you got the same names with a few added. A few get deducted and a few get added. Dionysus is another name for uh, Jesus. All right, here is 
Acts 14.12. And this is going to show you this being reflected in the Bible. You can find the Council of Nine throughout the Bible. But more than likely, you're going to find the symbol for them first. Okay, so that what you do need to know. So here's Acts 14.12, King James Version of the Bible. And they called Barnabas Jupiter and Paul Mercurus because he was the chief speaker. Okay, so Barnabas Jupiter called Paul Mercurus. Now let's take Acts 14.12 in the contemporary English version of the Bible. The people then gave Barnabas the name Zeus and they gave Paul the name Hermes. Okay, so there you got Zeus and Hermes. So every time in the Bible, when you see Jupiter, no, they're talking about Zeus. Okay, every time that you see Mercurius or Mercury in the Bible, they're talking about Hermes. I'm going to take Acts 14.12 uh, to the Darby translation and, and go through that with you just because it shows Paul as Mercury. And they called Barnabas Jupiter and Paul Mercury, because he took the lead speaking, okay? Barnabas is Jupiter, Zeus, Paul is Mercury, and is Hermes. Here is the Catechist of Hermes symbol, and um, what I'm going to show you is that uh, one Seth Horus, if you see in 2 Timothy 4.19, uh, is about the Catechist of Hermes symbol. Uh, they are fighting out in the desert, an eagle of Horus, is Hermes. Hermes is Horus. I, do, I show you that in other videos where it goes through through Toth is Hermes and Hermes is Horus, of course. But um, the two snakes were fighting out in the desert and Hermes threw down a staff. The two of them went up together and in agreement. Uh, why? Because uh, a new fight was beginning. And um, at that point, Horus surrendered to Zeus, or he surrendered to Seth. He's the eagle of Seth that's reflected in Romans 3. I um, wrote a, an article on this some time ago. You could write a whole book in, in regards to Aquila going back to uh, Horus. Right, next, uh, as we go on, who started Christianity? And here's the very beginning. This is Acts 11:12. And I'm going to read this to you. This won't make much sense to you, but and it sounds delightful. But the next one will make it very clear for you. And when he had found him, he bought, he brought him unto Anatoch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people. And the disciples were called Christians first in Anatoch. Anatoch is a city. Anatoch also... Uh, goes to an entity, and that entity is Satan. So you are aware. All right, Acts 11.26, God's Word translation. That's going to make this a lot more clear. After finding Saul, Barnabas brought him back to Anatoch. Barnabas and Saul met with the church in Anatoch for a whole year and taught a large group of people. The disciples were called Christians for the first time in the city of Anatoch. Okay, so Barnabas and Hermes, Zeus and Hermes, are the ones that taught Christianity. The Council of Nine, the ones that are out there to destroy humanity are the ones that are teaching Christianity. That's what the Bible tells you. Problem is, is nobody reads the Bible. They listen to them. Tell them about the Bible. Okay, and if you see, because it says Saul there, Paul, the apostle, is Saul of Taurus. All right, uh, on to the next. This is Romans 16. There's also uh, 2 Kings 16, 17. Those are, are very good to uh, read as far as about the foundation of the Church of Jesus Christ. Also Acts, but I'm going to go with Romans 16 because it's so blatant. So blatant. Okay, and I, I told you about uh, Aquila. This was a little bit different in uh, the layout of uh, pictures, but uh, Aquila is um, Zeus's eagle, okay? And that's Hermes, and that is Horus, as I, I, I uh, told you before. So Aquila, look it up for yourselves. You'll find out that he's an eagle. He's Zeus's eagle. And there is an image of... Um, 
a chain, okay, Egyptian Horus Eagle. That's what it is. That's who Aquila is. And also, um, unfortunately, I yes, the names will be in there once I get to it. I don't have it here, unfortunately. All right, so what Romans 16 is, is the salutes to the church of Jesus Christ. Not to Jesus Christ, but to the churches. The churches of Christ salute you. Not Jesus Christ. Notice the churches of Christ salute you. Who do they salute? They salute Hermes. They salute the Olympias. The Olympians. The Olympians. The Council of Nine. That's who they salute. Now, 17, if you read it just like this, it, it kind of throws you off on 18, but 18 is very direct. And if you read these scriptures across all the Bibles, you'll find the same thing that I did. Okay? And I'm going to read 18 to you. For they that are such serve not the Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly. And by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. What is the simple? The simple are the ones that don't know. Simple concerning evil. Simple in knowing about evil being there. You can be the smartest person, but if you're oblivious to this information, you're the simplest of persons. Okay? Take you on. What is the problem with the church? This is the first commandment of God. Thou shall have no other gods before me. So you're going to church, uh, say, St. Stanislaus. You're going to St. Stanislaus's altar. That's not your altar. You're going to his altar. Jesus died for you to have an altar. Okay? And I'm going to take you through this. This is... The Gospel of Judas. This is outlawed by all churches. And I'm just going to read the highlighted parts. And I'm going to tell you what's going on in this book. And what the truth is. And the reason why all the churches say you cannot read this book. Although it's the teachings of Jesus Christ. Those you have seen receiving the offerings at the altar. That is who you are. That is the God that you serve. Twelve men you have seen. The cattle you have seen brought for sacrifice are the many people you lead astray. The 12 apostles were not out there to help out mankind. They were there to deceive mankind. The only one that made it to heaven out of the 12 apostles, according to the gospel of Judas, was Judas. He was the deceiver of them. He went to help out the infidels. He went to help out the children of Israel, the Gentiles, he helped them. Man will stand, the fornicators, they're the slayers of children. And another from those who sleep with men, the men who sleep with men, they're the ones that are teaching you in Christianity. The rest of the people, pollution and the lawless of air, Go down. God has received your sacrifice from the hands of the priest. That is a minister of error. On the last day, they will be put to shame. Okay? What is that sacrifice? Okay, you give your money. You go to these churches and you give them money. That's your sacrifice. You give them their time. You give them your devotion. That's your sacrifice to these churches. And for that, you're going to be put into the lowest pit of hell. Because you're being deceived. Jesus says to them, stop sacrificing. Why does Jesus tell them to stop sacrificing? Okay, because you're serving me now. If you know when Jesus died on the cross, he said there will be no animals in my sacrifice. Only my blood will be the sacrifice. Because if you read Leviticus, these people are required to kill doves, the turtle doves, the whole song. What it's about is about these other animals that need to be sacrificed. They sacrifice lambs. For sin offerings, you violate the covenant, you must sacrifice a lamb. Okay, now you want your prayers to be answered, you must sacrifice a child. Jesus' blood is the purest blood. So don't ever worry about black magic. Don't ever worry about black magic curses. We have the strongest blood on our side. We pray to the Father, Father, in Jesus' name. He was our blood sacrifice. And I'm going to take you through that a little bit more. 